Hey everyone, I hope you are feeling fantastic. Today I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I created this minimalistic French tip look. So if you want to see this, let's get into the video. So we started off with a set like this and you'll notice it's going to be about three weeks old when I start removing it but I just wanted to show you really quick what we had before. Now I'm just going in with my e-file bit here and removing all of that color and excess gel, any lifting, all that good stuff and getting prepared for the nail prep. I'm also using very light pressure and guiding the e-file in one direction and kind of moving around the nail constantly so I do not create any heat. And if you guys are curious, I believe this is the course, I want to call it a tornado bit, from Young Nails. It's one of the new ones they got in their collection and so far I'm loving it. I feel like it lasts an extra long time and it also removes it very seamlessly which is awesome. Now I'm going in with my medium grit arbor band from Young Nails and basically what I did is I pushed back the cuticle and now I'm lightly going around that exposed nail area and just lightly prepping it, getting rid of any of the dead skin that's built up on the nails and blending it into the current enhancement. My guest here decided she wanted to go a little bit shorter, kind of get rid of that regress. So I'm going in with my nail clippers and I'm just kind of cutting the corners. She likes a more oval slash almondy shape to her nails. So they're going to look a little bit pointy for a bit while I'm like finishing building up the product. But I like to keep it like that. So it's just an easy way to shape it at the very end. And then of course I'm going in with my favorite final prepping tool. It's just a little rounded cuticle bit. I believe this one was from the Young Nails collection too. I use a lot of Young Nails. I love their stuff. And anyways, I'm just getting rid of all of that dead skin. Any excess little flyaways built up on that cuticle is just going to make it nice and clean and it's going to soften out any rough calloused areas on the skin as well. Yay, so we've got them all prepped up pretty much. I'm just going in and wiping off all the nails with some cleanser and a lint-free wipe. And then I'm going to go in with my Tack by Light Elegance. And I'm just going to scrub in a super thin layer and then cure it in the light about 30 seconds. But usually by the time I get done with the other hand, I switch it. And then I'm going to go in with one more base coat to ensure that adhesion is really strong and I don't have any lifting throughout the time the client is wearing her nails. And I'm going to go in with the gel bottle ink, I think it's called the clear rubber base, and just do a thin layer of that and cure for 60 seconds. Now we're ready for the build. This is one of my favorite parts. It's just super satisfying to me and I think it's where everything starts to come together. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking some concealer pink by Young Nails and I started off by painting just a really thin slip layer and I did not care. It's just going to help all that gel hold on and kind of set in place where it's supposed to be and keeps it from kind of like moving into other weird areas outside of the nail. And then I just go in with another bead and I just kind of float it on. Someone told me once that I guess when you're working with gel, it's obviously a little bit different than acrylic. 
but I like to think of it as frosting a cake. Um, and if you think of it like that, it is just like really light floating motions. My brush is staying connected to the gel at all times and I'm just kind of tucking it into place where I feel like I need and then just guiding it and the gel does the rest of the work for me. So I'm just going to show you guys a few more nails of the build so you can kind of get a nice close up of it. And if anyone's wondering, the brush I'm using is the Gel Finesse Pro brush by Young Nails. I'm telling you guys, I've literally been stuck with their brand since the beginning. <laughs> so, so many things I use are from them. I absolutely love this too. I feel like it's a super underrated gel brush and I think it deserves a lot more rep and credit, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> I skipped through all of the hand file shaping just because the viewpoint is a little bit awkward to try and catch on camera. So what you're seeing now is just some final shaping. I went back in with my medium, ar my medium arbor band and I'm just kind of touching it up, going around the cuticle area, smoothing out everything. If there's any little bumps or inconsistencies, I'm just going to get rid of that right there and that will prepare the nail enhancements for the art coming up. One thing I really like to do before painting on the gel is using a little bit of Young Nails Protein Bond just to add a little extra sticky layer. When I finished off the shaping with that Arbor Band, it does prep it enough and leave like a slight texture, but this just really ensures I'm not going to have any issues with gel chipping away or doing anything funky like that. So I'm just painting the layer on, I don't care, and now I'm just going in with one thin coat of this kind of really pretty nude color. I just wanted it to be something kind of subtle, but it will give like a nice natural and opaque effect when we do the French later. And next you'll see me going in with a thin coat of the Wildflowers Matte Tack Free Top Coat. And I always like to do that right before I do any hand painted art, any line work. It's just gonna ensure all the details are nice and straight and sharp. If you guys have ever tried like painting a French tip or any lines on nails that still have that tacky layer, um, you might have noticed it can kind of cause the lines to be a little bit fuzzy and uneven. So, and I've done that so many times myself. So I've learned to just use that matte top coat and it helps just keep it nice and precise. So if you guys haven't ever tried that before, definitely try it. You will love it. Friendships used to be one of the more difficult things for me to do. I think it's just one of those art forms that it has to be symmetrical and look just right. And as I've practiced, I've kind of learned a few tips along the way that I'll kind of show you here. So we decided to go with a dark gray color and as you can see on that little pinky, I didn't like how that line was forming so I wiped it away really quick. But basically there's a little pattern I like to use. I'll take my nail art brush and um, I usually like to start on one side, kind of paint a little line going towards the center, start from the other side, paint an angle going towards the center, and you'll see on the other nail, I kind of winged it on the pinky, but it's going to make a little bit more of an X formation. I'm starting on the right side, 
bringing it towards the center, starting on the left side, bringing it towards the center, and I kind of angle it down a little bit. And then I like to do a little line on each side of the sidewalls. That way it's easy for me to fill in the remainder with my brush and not have to worry about missing those corners. And then let me show you that middle finger too because that's going to show the X a lot better. Usually, as you can see on this one, I will drag it down towards the center and then it's going to create a little bit of an X at the bottom. And then I usually like to draw a little line to connect it and then just fill in both little corners just to make it a nice transition and smile line. And then I'll go in on those side walls again and then fill it in with my brush. I've gotten so used to doing it that now I kind of go in autopilot sometimes and then don't always go through that full formation thing. So that's why I kind of didn't do it all the way on those other nails. But that is a really great guide just to kind of break it down and make the smile line a lot easier. I apologize for this little clip here. It's definitely very fuzzy, but the other ones are going to be fine. I wanted to go in and do a little minimalistic art. So I basically took my same striper brush that I used earlier for the French tip with that gray color and then just drew two lines, kind of slowly connecting them until they reach a center point. And you'll kind of see it on my other hand. Yep, this one's a lot better of a close up. So yeah, I'm just taking really thin, small strokes, taking my time just guiding the lines slowly until they meet in the center. And then later I just took a little dotting tool and created a little dot in the center. Lastly, I just decided to add a little flair to it by taking some silver gel paint and painting a line on the right hand side of the angle. That way when the light hits it, it's just kind of fun. I'm finishing it off by painting one layer of Super Shiny by Light Elegance. It's a stain resistant top coat and I cure it for two minutes. And then I am all finished. Well, I like to go in with some cuticle oil, lotion, hydrate the nails, take pictures, and here is what the final result is. I thought it turned out absolutely beautiful. It's definitely one of those looks that's great for a transitional season coming from summer to fall, fall to winter, pretty much whenever. And it's obviously neutral, so it's gonna go with anything she wears and everything. Just super sharp, super simple and stunning as well. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more nail art and content from me, feel free to like this video and subscribe. And without further ado, I will let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you later. Bye.